mane is pretty naughty. Look how shiny he looks. Oh my gosh. Hey farm fam. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So today I'm going to be grooming all of my horses. In my last video I asked if this is something that you guys wanted to see because yes, I have bathed all of my pets but I have never showed you guys actually grooming my horses. So today we are going to be grooming all of my horses. Before we get into the video, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Turn on that post notification. You guys, what I'm gonna start doing is if you turn on your post notification, all you have to do is put in the comments that you turned it on and I will select someone that gets to be my post notification shout out in my next video. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Stephanie Moratos so you can see more behind the scenes of this video and everything else that happens at our farm. All right, well, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so this is my grooming kit and I have this super awesome grooming bucket. Um, you can find these at any feed store. So what I have in here really quick is I have hoof picks, two hoof picks. This one's just like a normal hoof pick with the brush on the end. And then this one's pretty new, which I picked up, which is the brush and the pick, and then also a scraper. So I really like having that because sometimes I'll scrape with the metal piece, but instead now I can scrape with the plastic so it's not as hard. I have this cute, really soft face brush. I have a curry, and then I also have this grooming brush, which I also kind of like to use as a curry because it's hard bristle, hard bristle plastic. Um, and this is also really good for getting loose dirt off. And then I have cash. <laughs> And then I have this sleek easy which I just like to use at the end of grooming. It's not a necessity. And you can just get all the loose hair and loose dirt off. This is kind of like a de-shutter. What's up, bud? Yes, we're gonna groom you in just a minute. I have my hairbrush for their mane and tail. A hard bristle brush so that we can get off the loose dirt. Then I have some Cowboy Magic Body Shine which is also a detangler so I can spray this on their coat to make it look really silky or use it also in their mane and tail to detangle any knots. And then I have in this little spray bottle something called Durasol, which just helps um, keep their feet water resistant. And then at the end of the grooming routine, I use SWAT, which is a fly repellent, but this is more so for their face, underbelly, just the more sensitive areas that we can't really use a spray. And then I finish it off with fly spray. All right, so first up is Cash, and he is our colt. So I'm just gonna start with my curry comb. So with a curry, you're just gonna pick up all that dirt and you're gonna go in circular motions. And it is approaching the winter months, so in Florida we don't really get a winter, but our horses do start to get more fuzzier for their winter coat. All right guys, so you see all that dirt that's coming up. Before the curry, we couldn't really see it, but it was definitely there, so we're just stirring up all that dirt. And we'll get his booty. chest and then there's some hard dirt here so we're just gonna curry right here just to pick that all up and then I'm gonna go really lightly on their belly their bellies are very sensitive all right so now that all the dirt is picked up I'm gonna go ahead and use this hard bristle why do I have such a hard time saying that hard bristle brush and I'm just gonna get the dirt off. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Look at that, it like slicks it down. And then I'm just gonna run this brush down the legs. Now we're taking the hard bristle brush just to get off all that loose dirt that we just picked up again. Now this is when it really starts to pay off if you see all that dirt flying. And I just wanna 
add, there's many different ways that you can groom a horse. Many people have different routines and techniques. This is just our technique and what works for us and our horses. So if you guys do something different, that's perfectly fine. If you do the same things, that's awesome too. But just so you know, there is so many different ways to do things in the horse world. All right, so since we're brushing, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush his face off. Good boy. I swear, every time I do this brush, I think they just like fall asleep because it's so soft. All right, so now I'm just gonna use my Body Shine Detangler and I'm just gonna put it in the mane. His mane is really little in some spots. He doesn't really grow a very long mane. And then I'm also just gonna go ahead and spray the tail. And while I have the spray, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray his body so that he will be super shiny. Right, so I'm just gonna brush out his mane. And as you can see, it's a little bit short right here. Um, he is a baby, so his hair is pretty delicate. But as you can see, it's so much longer and I've been deciding if I should cut this or not the same length here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really struggle with that because I love a horse with a really long mane. So I don't know if I should just continue letting this grow out or if I should cut this and let it all grow at the same time. Let me know what you guys think. So now we're just gonna brush out the tail. So if you really trust your horse, you can stand behind it, but it is safer if you just stand to the side. So you're still behind the tail, but you're just to the side. So if they do go to kick out those legs, you can maneuver easier. So he's almost done. I like to clean their body and brush out their mane and tail before I pick their feet because I want them to be as clean as they can when I'm leaning up against them. Again, personal preference. So this is how I go and clean their feet. So for the front leg, I'm just gonna stand like this with my shoulder up against his shoulder. So he's a colt, so he's still pretty fresh on this. But what I'll do is I'm gonna put my foot basically right in between his feet, bring my arm all the way down, put pressure with my shoulder, and then he picks his foot up. And then with my knees here, I'm gonna provide support for that leg so that I can go ahead and start to clean his hoof out. So here's the frog, and you really don't wanna mess with the frog area, it's really soft and sensitive. But you're gonna take your hoof pick and go downward so that you're not going up and flinging dirt at you or hitting the metal on this sensitive part. So I'm just gonna pick the hoof right around this frog and then I'll brush it out. And then with the scraper, just scrape off any dirt that gets packed in there. All right, so that hoof's good. And I'm just gonna gently put it back on the ground. All right, and then for the back hoof, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just again, put my body right on his and then go all the way down and pick up that leg, stretch it out give him support on my knee, and just clean it out. All right, so we're pretty much done grooming, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my fly repellent. So with my fly spray, I just do a pretty generous coat, and I just go all the way around him. And I'm just making sure I'm not really getting around his face. All right, so this is the SWAT. It's kind of like a paste, putty, I don't know how to explain it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I put it, I like to put it right here under their eyes, around their nose, just some areas that flies will tend to pester. All right, so he is done being groomed. He's all nice and pretty. Oh, you did not want me to hug you anymore. So we are done with one and now we have three more to go. Next up we have Louie. So he's a little bit spooky, but actually he's really good when we groom him. So if he just kind of just dance around a little bit sometimes, that's why, but he's really good about it. So we're gonna go ahead and again, we're gonna start by currying. All right, so we're just going around and doing the backside. Oh, it's okay. So he has a little bit of dirt right here. So we're really just gonna focus right here, getting that dirt up. All right, so I'm just gonna take my hard bristle brush and just again, do some more sweeping movements at the same time, kind of circling, just like another curry. And just again, I'm gonna focus in those areas where it was a little hard. Bring the brush down to their legs. So we see right here, he's got some stickers, it looks like, and voila, it's gone. 
Back up, buddy. Good boy. Just gotta get that chest area. All right, so now I have my, again, big brush that I'm just gonna get all the dirt off with. This is my favorite part because you really get to see how they start to change. So we're just spraying the tail. I'm gonna spray the coat and the mane. If your horse's mane or tail is really knotty, it's just better if you hold on to the top so it's not really ripping from the root. His mane isn't really knotty, but if it was, I would just hold from the top and just brush down, just like if you're brushing your own hair. <laughs> Same thing with the tail. I just like to hold on to a certain section and then brush below it so it's not ripping from the root of the tail. You want me to brush your face? Oh yeah. That's a good boy. So I found a little dirt up here, so I'm just gonna take this brush, brush that out, and then I'm just gonna take this leak easy and just push it down on him. He's starting to get his winter coat a little bit more, so I'm just gonna use this to de-shed him just a little bit. Look how shiny he looks, oh my gosh. It's so shiny. So now we're gonna go ahead and do his feet again pushing my shoulder into him. So with his feet, he actually has been dealing with a little bit of moisture, too much going into his feet. So we just have to be really soft on him because his frogs are really soft. So I have my Duracell, so what I'm gonna do is this is just like a water resistant spray so that the moisture will stay out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all on the bottom of his foot. And I'm just gonna keep this in the air for just a minute so that it will dry. All right, feet are done. So now again, we just need to go in and fly spray. Mmm, that just got all on my face. I have also coated myself with fly spray. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the swat again. Hi, buddy. Just put it right under here. Just gonna put it on his nose. This side of his nose. Some underneath his eye over here. All right, buddy. All right, so second one down, two more to go. As you guys can see, it's pretty same simple process, right? Just to make them look nice and pretty. All right, so we have Trigger. As you can see, he's pretty dirty. His mane is pretty knotty, so he is gonna get the works. All right, so, and he has a really big mane, so I tend to just throw it over and get to currying. As you can see, his chest is a little bit hard in there, so he's obviously got some dirt there. We're just gonna curry that out. All right, now we're gonna flip that mane again. And do his neck. Oh, trigger, hello. Is that a camera? All right, so this is a whole bunch of flipping the mane over. So I'm just gonna take this hard bristle brush again, curry it a little bit, and swipe at the same time. Don't go too fast. <laughs> We're just swiping all the dirt away with the big brush. I am just... <laughs> We're gonna put a counter on the screen. Yes. Anytime she drops the brush. Yeah, right? Beautiful trigger, beautiful. All right, now we have to deal with this mane. He has a very crazy mane. We're gonna focus a lot of this detangler right there on that knot. All right, so with the detangler, we pretty much can just pull the knot a little bit and just break it free. All right, so the knot is out. Now we can move on to the tail. All right, now Trigger loves the face brush. He's so close to me. So, he's already, he already knows. So here's where this plastic scraper kind of comes into part here. So I can kind of scrape everything, see what I'm doing and then begin to really get in between that frog. All right, 
and then the back leg. All right. All right, so we're pretty much done with him now, so now we just have to fly spray. So last but not least is Blaze, so we're gonna go ahead and curry him and do the same exact thing. All right, again, we're gonna use this to curry some more and swipe at the same time. Now we're gonna use the big bristle brush, as I like to call this, the magic eraser, to get rid of all the dirt. All right, so I have the Body Shine Spray Detangler in his hair. His mane kind of goes all over the place, so we're just gonna brush it on this side. As I said, I'm gonna hold on to the root because his mane is pretty thick. All right, now his tail. All right, now that that's done, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do his feet off camera because my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna go ahead and get taken care of that. All right, so we're just gonna use the face brush. Brush his little face by his ears. <laughs> And then we're gonna use our trusty old fly spray and spray him down. And we can't forget to add the swat on his face. All right, you guys, so that's what it's like grooming all of my horses. It is a lot of work when you have more than one, um, but it's really not that bad. Once you get into a routine, it's just doing the same things over and over again, but it's very, very crucial to horses that you groom them and keep up with their hygiene. All right, you guys, well, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Turn on that post notification, and I'll see you in the next one.